<laughs> very good evening, everyone. Good evening. good evening. My name is Adiba Abdul Kader, and I happen to love art. That being said, who here knows William Shakespeare? <laughs> A lot of you. Well, that is wonderful. For those who don't really know who he is, William Shakespeare was a genius playwright and actor during the Victorian era. He was the man who came up with a lot of our modern English words and the proverbs that we use today. Unfortunately for me, I've simply rejected this one proverb of his. The world is an oyster. Well, firstly, I rejected this particular proverb because when I first heard it, I thought it made no sense. It made no sense to me. I was in primary five when I first heard it. What is this? That was my reaction. Secondly, I prefer to see the world as a stage. Now, before you start throwing rotten tomatoes at me, because I know some of you are probably William's biggest fans, let me justify myself. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always thought that everyone was a performer of some sort. Some of us are actors, capable of playing a different character in a different show. Some of us are writers, writing scripts, poetry, or song. We have storytellers, singers, magicians, whoever you want, whoever you need on stage, you can come. I'm sure that each and every one of you have, have tasted the limelight at least once, center stage, even if it's just Introducing yourself to the crowd. Where you stand, that is your stage. How you present yourself, that is entirely up to you because you are the star of your own show. Make use of your space, make use of your body language, and make use of that <coughs> smart mouth that I know you all have. As I've said, where you stand, that is your stage. Currently, this is my stage. I can use it however I want to. Why? Because it's my stage, my show, my stage. I can use it to give a speech or with a little bit of an imagination. I can use this as a runway, and we can have a fashion show right here, right now. I mean, why not? We have an aisle, we have a model, <laughs> and I can just walk down the aisle, pause, pull, pull eyes on me. But no. childhood, I was in fact a dancer, a competitive one. I was willing to work so hard till my muscles are so sore just to get the routine right. Because I didn't want to let my team down just because of my mistake. It meant a lot to me, even though I was never that close to any of the other dancers. I felt as if I was at the right place, with the right people. Yep. It was one of the ways how I get myself new friends. <coughs> For me, my dancing career ended five to six years ago, <coughs> roughly years ago. November 2011. It was a great night. Camera is flashing. Bow for me. 
and me, the champions. My team and I, the champions for that one day. But okay, it's okay. All swell for answer. Because every performer knows that at the end of the show, you bow. Thank the audience. Thank you. The next stage left. Back to the back.